couple of weeks ago when this wasn't here. nice deep pool not much not good access I'm not gonna break my neck going down that hill to get to it that'd be a good place to magnet fish there's a rope swing off of that too let's stop here and look at it for a second there may be access right over the hill right there Yeah, it'd be interesting to magnet fish here. The rope swing's hooked onto this tree here, and it goes over to there. I don't know that they're going to be doing any rope swinging. It usually people drop off right out there where that all that debris is. All that washed down. We had a lot of rain here the last few weeks in North Georgia. I'm going to go down. We might be able to get down there and do some magnet fishing, but I might just go straight onto the bridge and try that down and try it down there. Okay, we're going to go right down there and stop at the bridge. Check it out and see if we can do some magnet fishing down there. If so, I will come back. I'll turn the, I'm going to turn it off. But if we can do some magnet fishing from the bridge, I will come back and turn it on so y'all can watch me magnet fishing. See if I catch a steelhead. <laughs> nice swimming hole here too. Okay, let me go check it out. The water's up from all the rain, but it's pretty. It's nice and pretty clear. We may try some magnet fishing over there. Maybe down there a little bit further. Maybe back over here. That's an island there. Well, I don't. I won't disturb him. He's up there fishing. That's where I was wanting to see if we could magnet fish. We might be up. Go ahead, be able to go up from his left there, though. Okay, this is where we're going to start off trying our magnet fishing. And I just got some very good information from a Georgia Department of Natural Resources law enforcement officer. He said if it looks like, if you catch something, and it looks like it's been here 50 years, it's considered an artifact, and you must throw it back. That's sort of like a trout that's not big enough, isn't it? I 
I can see a lot of trash in the water. Wouldn't surprise me a bit if I don't get hung up and snagged and have to cut the line. Just like real fishing. Law enforcement officer said this was real deep right here. I don't know how far out I can throw it with both bad arms by its shoulders. But anyway, I'm going to see how far out we can get it. I'll leave the camera running just to see what... Probably won't be good video, but... And I'm going to swing it and tow it underhanded. Put my foot on the reel so it can't take off without it. Not very far, was it? Just like real fishing. <laughs> I cracked myself up. Yeah, watch me get snagged the first. It's, it's the second time magnet fishing, get, I'll get snagged. Yeah, I'm going to turn it off and start pulling it in. Well, I didn't take the little metal caps off, so I wasn't going to catch anything. But I almost did get snagged. I thought I was going to. Let's see how far we can get this thing. I don't want that line to get up there underneath those limbs and stuff. And there's one right there. I can get snagged right there real easy. the side and see if we get anything. The game more than there was just checking fishing licenses. Checking them fishing licenses. I told him I had my senior sportsman's license which entitled me to fish, hunt, land pass, and all of that stuff. So he said, okay. Got some good information about my, uh, magnet fishing too. If you pull something out that looks like it's over 50 years old, it's considered an artifact and you have to throw it back. If you pull out a gun or something other, you have to notify law enforcement, but uh, What's the difference between <laughs> trash and an artifact? It's about 25 years. But uh, anyway, I'm going down to see if I can catch something on this side. Okay, well, we didn't do anything. We didn't do any fishing here. There's a couple down there, real fishing. I didn't want to be throwing a two pound magnet in the water with them really fishing so I'll try to do some more magnet fishing this weekend maybe maybe in the Oconee River and I have gotten hungry of course I got plenty of stuff to eat in here just nothing I want Resources Ranger and uh, Law Enforcement Game Warden 2 both in here today. These roads may be uh, Georgia Department of Natural Resources roads because that's got that gravel there again. I bet that's what it is. <laughs> 